At an American evacuation hospital in Japan, U.S. doctors attempt to save ill-famed Tojo, former premier, with a transfusion of American blood. The volunteer is Sergeant John Ockenall, who, like all of us, wants Tojo to live and stand trial. The Jap shot himself with this American automatic, spurning his Harakiri swords, and was rushed to this hospital room for treatment and the transfusion. The man who headed the government during Japan's advance, retreat, and surrender is regarded as one of the arch criminals among Japan's warlords, but he'll live to answer. <music> Devastation surrounds the undamaged diet or parliament building, tribute to our marksmanship, and confiscated Jap films show the emperor on a personal tour of his ruined capital before the surrender. His subordinates drew up a chart for the emperor showing the end of the industrial parts of the city. At the Imperial Palace, GIs find that they are not allowed on the palace grounds. Japanese who pass the gates bow to the emperor in traditional fashion. Dazed Japs, unable to believe their defeat, read bulletins from the emperor calling for obedience to the Americans. The natives can find little news of consolation in their one-sheet newspaper either and wander around bewildered. Signal Corps, Air Force, and newsreel cameramen joined to make these pictures of life among a defeated people. They seek a few hours of amusement at movie theaters that are open. Most transportation in the larger cities is paralyzed, and the few trolleys running overflow with passengers who have to be patient. But it's fun for the GIs. As it turned out, Admiral Bull Halsey couldn't ride the Emperor's horse, its private property. But he found an adequate substitute to make good his boast to ride through the streets of Tokyo on horseback. The fruits of a lied victory. 